This week's In the Field is presented by Gordon's Feed and Pet. There is never a dull moment on the Cups Farm, which sits nestled into the rolling hills of Shelna, Missouri. Brothers, who will definitely keep you on your toes, now manage the multi-generational family farm. I'm Scott Cups with Cups Farms. And I am Matt Cups. Uh, we reside at Shelna, Missouri um, and farm mostly in Berry County. Throughout high school, um, our counselors made us pick uh, career plans and I guess he was going to be a teacher, which he did teach for a little while. I um, thought I was going to be a veterinarian, um, some other things just because we had to write something down on a piece of paper. I think we both knew we were just always going to be farmers and that was our, I mean, there was really no question. And um, we kind of do it in reverse. A lot of people are going to um, work a job and then when they retire, they would like to farm. And our plan is to farm until we fail and then we're gonna go get jobs. <laughs> a lot of guys our age, one complaint they have is, is their, you know, the succession planning and they don't think they can do enough on the farm or they don't think other generations will let them try things that they wanna try. That was the opposite with us. Um, you know, in high school, we came home and said we wanted to plant 100 acres of alfalfa, which was probably a horrible idea when you're gonna go to college. And our dad was like, sounds good to me, whatever, let's do it. So, and that's our a blessing for us is the way our dad is. Both Matt and Scott have a passion for farming and work hard together, but they like to split things up a bit. Scott handles the cattle side of things and Matt is in charge of the crops they grow in and around Barry County. A lot of people ask us what we farm and we really don't have an answer because we farm a lot of different stuff. Corn, soybeans, wheat, um, then we have alfalfa, a lot of forage crops. We grow grass seed, both the, the traditional Missouri type, hillside Kentucky 31, and then we have some varietal grass seed, and then we run cows in between it all. So we stay busy most of the time. The one thing that we concentrate on and always have concentrated on and on our commercial cattle is uh, no smoke and mirrors, no nonsense, no, I mean, it's, we raise cattle that are functional and productive uh, and that will thrive in real life conditions. Uh, we live in Southern Berry County. If a cow will make it around here on her own, then she'll make it anywhere and do, do well. And so that's why we've been able to, to gain the, the customer base that we have on the heifer side and the, the other reason is because of the Show Me Select program itself. It's, it's an excellent program um, that produces probably some of the best females uh, available in, in the country. And with that, we have uh, made the decision to expand our, our seed stock, the seed stock portion of our cattle operation and actually downsize as it grows, um, downsize the commercial side of our operation. We were very lucky um, to grow on the farming side um, as quickly as we did, but it was very spread out. Um, you know, multiple counties, multiple states, uh, spent half the time moving tractors, uh, don't remember where you left equipment, cars, vehicles, work trucks, uh, your dad. Um, so, so it, it's, and we're still in that position now where we are very spread out farming. Um, we would like to do a better job around home. Um, we actually have been lucky to uh, group a larger percentage of, of rough ground, you could call it, very close to home. Um, you can't farm as much of it, but, um, but it's in one spot and that makes farming a lot easier. I think anybody that's farmed on any scale it makes knows. it a lot more fun as well. I mean, there, there was a time in both of our lives where farming was not fun at all. And that was just a product of being so strung out. Uh, and so the goal is to get back to a sustainable, sustainable situation just personally where we're not always, uh, you know, leaving, leaving town before the, the sun comes up and getting home after it's gone down every single day farming out of town uh, it, to get back to a, to a point where we can actually do a lot of things that we always wanted to do um, here more locally. And that's where uh, focusing on the cattle and then using the farming side to feed the cattle, <laughs> if you will, is kind of what we would like to concentrate on. Our, our dad is 67 years old. We, I guess, got to watch him go from being as strong and mean and, as us. Um, I know in farms that, that happens. You don't 
you know, you, you won't admit that um, age is, a, is uh, he's, age is still not an issue for him. He will do anything, but it's going to be. And we, we do not want to work him the way we have worked him. He enjoys it. We don't like to watch him do it. So um, we, we would like to set ourselves up in the future where we, I guess we are not working. So not us we're worried about. We don't want to work our, our, his wife and our dad seem to run around like crazy and we, we'd love to see them relax a little bit more. So that's kind of the goal if we can get more stuff in, around home, I guess.